Next one is I thought was interesting here. This is Curse of the Street where night live and these are essentially a pair of adidas's right and the adidas model is called actually let me get up on the screen sorry the model itself is this courtesy of street night live or street where night live sorry right this nice model and it's actually this model that i saw while back but i didn't notice that they were completely different the same model because obviously the colorway makes them look a little bit different but it's called the um, adidas or ketro right this adidas or ketro and it's meant to be coming out in this nice navy color. And to me personally, just off the first look, first impression, does that not remind you of the current hype that people are having around um, ASICs and stuff, especially the model that Jound is using at the moment. I forgot what it's called, right? But this reminds me a lot of the ASICs that are out at the moment, um, which is very interesting, right? Because there was, there was a time in life or a time in history when the two major players in sneakers in terms of Nike and Adidas were the ones that were setting the precedent. They were setting the tone, setting the tempo when it comes to shapes, silhouettes and whatnot. And all the other brands would just copy them, would just basically do their own iteration of a Adidas or a Nike sneaker but now we're to the point where because kids and the newer generation or people in general are trying to get other sneakers maybe because it's so difficult to get nice limited edition shoes from Nike Adidas because they make the drop scarce on purpose and create this false scarcity in order to drive up the resale and make you hyped and make you want to click stuff online and join flipping um, you know and like stuff on Instagram all this nonsense and enter raffles people have maybe decided with their wallet and be like you know what fuck it in general I'm just going to buy other shoes so they're buying new balance they're buying a6 um you see people in deodoras nowadays feelers of course are coming back with a little resurgence reebok all this stuff just anything that's non-hype and non adidas and nike so maybe this is them recognizing it and be like hey we need to also get into this and um allow those and give that customer that would actually want that asset silhouette an opportunity to maybe buy our shoe because this definitely i would say um, would be something that would appeal to the kind of intellectual um, snob, no, intellectual, the kind of, it would say in, an intellectual sneakerhead, right? Because that's how I think, that's what I think of people that wear like Solomons and stuff and all that malarkey. Or, they, or they're kind of reluctant sneakerheads. The ones that wear Solomons and Asics and stuff, they don't want to be looked at as a sneakerhead, but essentially they are because, you know, if you're buying three or four pairs of New Balances, you have to kind of, you know, you have to be okay with buying basically four of the same shoes, especially if you're buying the same model. They don't really differentiate that much between each other, right? A 574 is a 574, regardless of the colors you get it in, the shape doesn't really change. And most of the time, if you don't like bright colors, you have to stick with the neutral tone. So they're generally all going to look the same. So you're kind of deciding to purposely wear boring shoes because you don't want to wear the loud ones because you don't want to look like a hype beast or a sneakerhead, but you still are a sneakerhead because you're buying more than two shoes. So it's a weird place to be in. But I do see a lot of the fashion crowd who are into Ace, especially people who are into the, the Kiko Kostadinov ones. They'll definitely, I think, be fans of these also. These, um, what they, how do you pronounce the name of it again? Uh, Oketra. I think they'd be a fan of those going forward. I did hear somebody, I think the guy that runs a Streetway Night Live actually account was saying that he was considering um, taking off the three stripes here towards the front of the shoe. If you're not listening, if you're not watching the podcast, then the shoe itself is navy, a typical kind of runner type shoe. Think of again, think of an A6 with some kind of um, patterns and stripes on the upper, but essentially towards the front of the toe, there are these three stripes that essentially signify the Adidas three stripe. But if you were to take them off, they might maybe look a little bit more similar to what you maybe foresee see Asics, and they maybe won't look as bit as brash as they do look there because they're kind of a bit obtuse in terms of the branding on the front there's a bit extra but he was considering maybe taking those off and i don't i think that might be a good idea actually even looking at it from here from the right foot that's on the floor we're looking down they do look a little bit much in it on the side there those kind of three stripes maybe they'd be better if they were tonal maybe it wouldn't be so um, hard to look at in terms of the shoe but the fact that they're grey or that the fact that they're free I think they might be 3M actually the fact that they look kind of 3M-ish they kind of stand out a little bit too much so I don't know why people are like fireworks now but it's what it is but yeah that's the talk going around there so definitely this are uh, uh, the fact that they even somebody like shoot in that live is featuring them goes to show that they're definitely going to cater to people who would wear asics who would wear new balances and stuff the kind of you know instagram sneakerhead minimal sneak whatever you call that sneaker the one that isn't a jordan fan that alternate group of people i think they'll be a fan of these but i don't actually mind these but i just find it really funny and interesting that adidas is now copying the other brands who are making other shoes to try to k to try to give the customers another option now Adidas are also encroaching on their space also. It must be annoying if you're a flipping um, brand owner, isn't it? 
um, of these kind of of those smaller or those kind of brands that are not the top two, not the top three or top five, whatever it may be. You make your own shoe. You try to get kids into it. You you know it, t- it took probably a long time for Asics to get any kind of foothold in the youth market. They finally have. Uh, they got some good collaborations under their belt. They got Kiko working underneath their wing, producing his own line of Asics that always sell out. And then now Adidas coming with all their resources, all their money, and they're now making or uh, or trying to encroach on your space by really basically making a version of your shoe. Because if you didn't see those three stripes and someone just told you what and told you to name the brand, you know, randomly, you'd probably think they were Asics too. So it's a bit wild, really, to see that we're living in a weird world where Adidas are now copying, um, flipping Asics and the stuff that they're doing. It's absolutely nuts, to be honest. Um, but I do like the Shun Wotherspoon model. I think they look pretty decent. I think these actually might be one of his best shoes that he's put out. Apart from the Sambas, which I like. I know some people don't like the look of the Sambas, but this version I've got here on the screen is a Shun Wotherspoon version, allegedly. I'm assuming this is an early sample. Um, it's essentially in a essentially got loads of pinks and blues and whites the midsole is sort of like in this kind of dyed um off white yellowy kind of style which a lot of brands do to basically mimic a vintage shoe there's some nice pops here nice bright orange stores at the back here i really like the fact that it's all mesh on the upper it's beautiful there's a little logo here maybe that's his name they've still got the three straps on the side there look a bit ugly which might would be the reason why he's kind of hiding them and putting his toes that way but that straps inside i don't really like but the colorway is really really beautiful i'm not, got, I'm not gonna lie it might be one of his better adidas collaborations he's done um you've got here adidas was that adidas prime or print there towards the end um or formation maybe it's called you got mesh all over it but yeah this looks fucking beautiful i'm not going to lie it looks really really nice with sean Wolverine version so hopefully we see them soon no idea on dates or anything we don't really know that we're not going to really go that far in terms of knowing the dates or stuff because you know they never really tell us until it's time for them to take the money out of our pockets but for sure these two models that we see now see those three stripes on the, on the outside don't look that great in it definitely is worth taking them off i think the stripes here they definitely look far better without the stripes although that colorway looks really nice with the yellow addition onto it but take away those, those three stripes in the front and they might be a go and the logo here as well on the top um, and then we've obviously got the um, example of the Sambas that are due to come out very soon from Sean Wolverspoon also. But yeah, let's see Wagwan when they come out. Let's see Wagwan when they eventually come out.